Hi there, my name is Andreina and today we're going to be making some geometrical paintings. The supplies we'll be needing for today's project is an 8x10 canvas, or you can use any size you'd like, but mine is 8x10. Some tape, I don't have masking tape, but this tape will do. And some paint, I have pink, lavender, mint green, and light blue. Let's get started. We're going to get started by opening the canvas since it's in the wrapper. Once that is open, throw away your trash and begin placing your tape all around the canvas wherever you want your sh shapes to be made. The sizes of your tape can be short or long, it does not matter, it's up to you, and you place them wherever you want. You continue doing the same process for as many times as you'd like. As you can see, there's not a specific place or shape that I'm making, I'm just placing it wherever I think it's going to look the best. This is my final placement of my tape, and we're going to get started with the painting. If you do not want to use paintbrushes, you are more than welcome to use your hands, but I do not want to get my hands extremely dirty, so I'm going to be using these paintbrushes. Here I am pouring some paint on a separate piece of paper in order to avoid a mess. Now that I have all my paint laid out, I'm going to start painting. This is the first coat, so do not worry if your paint is not as vibrant as you would like. You could either make it extremely vibrant with lots of coats of paint, or not too vibrant with only one or two coats of paint. You will then continue to paint all of the shapes you have. I went ahead and painted the ones that are not close to each other. I did this in order to prevent the same colors from being close together. But you can do as you'd like. Do not worry if you get paint on the tape, that's okay, because we're going to be taking the paint off at the end. You will then begin to remove the tape, but be careful. You do not want to mess up like I did. As you can see, removing the tape was a bit hard for me, so I would suggest getting some assistance from your parent or guardian. Since I made a mistake, I went ahead and covered it with extra paint so that it wouldn't be too noticeable. Okay, this is my final product. It's pretty cute. As you guys can see, I did mess up a little bit and I did get some paint on the white spots, but that's okay. You can either go on, go on over it with white paint or leave it like that because we're not perfect and mistakes happen. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let it dry and we can hang it up in our room.